And the laptops are one of HP's more expensive series. This means that we get flagship hardware and good features, including a quality display, which we'll talk about in a minute. Today we have the NV16, powered by Alder Lake and RTX Ampere. That's not everything though, as the Intel Arc A370M graphics makes a silent appearance. Will it be a game changer or will it be a failure? The NV16 is built from aluminum and has a similar design to the ZBook Studio G9. The laptop has rounded edges and corners on the front and sides, while the back is sharper. This makes the lid difficult, if not impossible, to open with one hand. Durability is good, with both the lid and base being quite solid. In terms of dimensions, the NV16 hides its 2.3 kg weight pretty well, thanks to the 19.9 mm profile. The base has two speaker grills, a keyboard and a touchpad. For some reason the device lacks a fingerprint reader, but at least has a webcam shutter. The board is quite good, as the keys support long key travel, clicky feedback and a backlight. The touchpad has a large size and is covered in glass. Using it is great, as it's responsive and accurate. The I.O. is on the left and right sides, but it isn't split evenly. The right side gets two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port and a full-size 10 gigabit USB port. Then on the left there is one more full-sized USB port of the same speed, an audio jack and a microSD card slot. There is only one display option, but it's so good that we don't mind. The panel has a QHD Plus resolution, which means a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, as well as a 120 Hz refresh rate. It's excellent for enjoying movies or shows, while 92% sRGB coverage and great accuracy with our design and gaming profile make it ideal for creative work. The response time is fairly low at 11 milliseconds, which should make you happy. We'll leave links to our display profiles in the description below. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! With an 83 watt hour battery pack, the laptop lasts for 12 hours and 23 minutes of web browsing or 11 hours and 40 minutes of video playback. This is great, as you won't have to use a charger that often. Of course, it all depends on the workload that you are doing. These results were accomplished with the configuration using the Core i7-12700H and the RTX 3060. On the CPU front, the Core i7 isn't in its best form, getting outperformed by the Omen 16 with the Core i5-12500H and the Dell Experience 9520, a 400 gram lighter laptop. The 95W RTX 3060 is quite powerful, but the 140W version inside the Omen 16 does get better results in benchmarks. As for gaming, our external monitor testing shows the GPU to be very competitive at 1080p, offering playable frame rates in many games while running them at max settings. Here we spotlight Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where we get 54 FPS and the ultra high preset. We have benchmarked the 95 Watt RTX 3060 in a lot more games, all available on our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel. If you're interested in any GPU's performance, you'll find gameplay videos there. Please subscribe! The NV16 employs a vapor chamber, a smart move which keeps the laptop seen. Two fans push air through it, while there's one heat pipe mounted on the side. Cooling performance is good, but we feel like there is room for growth, as the CPU runs at 55W and at only 2.25GHz at the 15 minute mark. On the other hand, we see the full 95W CGP of the RTX 3060 being used, resulting in the GPU running in the high 1500s. Comfort is good, as the fans don't spin at their max RPM. On the other hand, the chassis does get warm, reaching 47 degrees Celsius. The laptop offers good upgradability, with two SATM slots for DDR5 memory and two M.2 slots for Gen 4 drives. As always, we'll have our teardown video in the upper right corner. The NV16 could have been more powerful, but HP chooses to prioritize comfort once again. 
Still, the chassis of the laptop gets warm, as the stain profile and the aluminum housing don't isolate the heat well enough. If you are not afraid of an extra 100 grams and a thicker device, HP has another offer with the Omen 16. It uses many of the same materials and the screen is good as well. Most importantly, it offers more performance. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.